the best thing about biology is that we is that it's a study of life and we still don't know what that is the 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 fundamental difference between things that are alive and things that are not alive is a mystery we we know a lot about living things but we don't know exactly what it is that makes them living and that's for sure the best part that's that's this fundamental mystery that we're a long way from figuring out tom what's with this shirt oh yeah so i i got this great shirt this warning i'm a teacher um <clears throat> and i like this because i i tease my students on the first day of class i i tell them look i'm here to change the way you think uh, I'm, I'm a professional teacher. I, I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm going to make permanent changes in the structure of your brain. And it feels like I should warn people about that. I never actually went out and got a t-shirt before, but if someone walked into a room and said, I'm going to change the structure of your brain, you might be concerned about that, and you might want to take some precautions if you like the way your brain is structured already. And, and in my class on the first day, I play that old REM song, um, The End of the World as You Know It. And because I like people to start thinking that now it's going to be all different. Now you're at university. The end of, it's literally the end of your world. And in my class, I teach biology. So it literally is going to be the end of the world as they know it. In, in biology, things change really quickly, and this is a really important idea I want to get across to my people, my students. Next week in Nature or Science, some paper might come out that changes the curriculum in first-year biology. It, it happened two weeks ago. So this guy, Venter, he's created the first cell ever that doesn't have a parent. Every, every cell in the universe comes from another cell except this new, brand new one, and he named it Cynthia. <clears throat> so we have a synthetic cell now. The world is different. My students who come in September are coming into a different world of biology than the ones who came last year. Um, so my students are taking biology and physics and chemistry and in physics and chemistry, there are problems to do. You, you can sort of test how well you understand, if you can do the problems, and so on. But in bio, there aren't, there aren't these kinds of problems you can work through. Um, so you have to find some other way to figure out if you're learning or, or not. And I find this is... This is a big challenge for my students. They come and say, oh, I'm doing great in chemistry, but I'm struggling in biology. And I think one of the reasons is this, this problem-based thing. So, so I recommend to them that they make study groups, that they get together, they talk to each other to try to get a sense of, I, <clears throat> I call it being whacked. If, if you... If your understanding of the world is upside down or backwards, that's what I call being whacked. But you don't often even know if you're whacked. You, you may have learned how photosynthesis works or something in a particular way. And if you don't ever check that with your friends or with me, then you go to the exam whacked and you get the answers wrong. And then you discover that you didn't understand. So this kind of feedback in, in studying biology seems absolutely essential to get and one of the best ways to do it is just talk to your friends make study groups challenge each other tell each other stories about how you understand so you can detect who's whacked how your friends might be um, setting themselves up to fail on a test what could you do without an understanding of biology uh, in the world today and it's, it's not just a flippant response. Um, I, I spoke about this new synthetic cell. I'm like, oh my God, th there's, this, there's this whole industry around research and, and companies that, that make the products for the people who are doing the research and the government agencies that make the policy that governs the research, the, the granting agencies. Um, 
the, the, all the law that comes with that, all the patent law, there, it seems like it, over the next 20, 30 years, b developments in biology are going to be some of the most important ones in all of science. And someone is going to take uh, armies of people to, to deal with that. And, and I mean right down to the ground, right down to if you go to the grocery store, to buy fruit, whoever's managing that grocery store produce section needs to understand biology. They need to understand, are these the transgenic strawberries? Are these the ones that have fish genes in them or not? Or, or does it really, does it matter if they have fish genes in them? So you, you can't even be, you can't be a produce manager if you don't understand biology. How can you be a stockbroker if you don't understand biotechnology and the, these um, companies' ideas? So that <clears throat> we just have this huge oil spill in the Gulf. Who's, who's going to try to understand the impact of that and mitigate that? These are all biologists. These are all people who um, have backgrounds in understanding the interaction of chemistry and the environment and interaction of, of industrial processes in society. Um, so it's, it's getting hard to think of, think of a, a career that wouldn't be helped by having a good understanding of biology. And then set careers aside, just your life. Are you going to eat this particular food or that particular food and why? Are you gonna are you gonna have children? Are you gonna conceive children naturally, or are you gonna go to in vitro fertilization? And and what if you have a disabled child? What kind of treatment or therapy are you gonna choose? What about the choices you make about what you do with your plastic garbage bags? The impact on the environment? Um, all of these things. Just being an educated citizen today, it would be hard to call yourself sort of educated without knowing some biology, knowing some, some basic biology. Um, it just seems that many of the problems we have, many of the opportunities we're going to have in the next 30 years are going to have a strong basis in the biological world. Uh, it's something that we all should have in our toolbox, I think.